So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound. And as you can see, we are approaching towards the end of the Arcade Facilitator program and basically end of the September 2. Still we have some time, but here is some quick update regarding it. So basically, the Arcade games will be expiring on 30th of September. And before that, you have to complete all the games. Now, one more important thing, if you are an Arcade Facilitator program participant, the program will be ending on 6th of October. And here basically you have to complete the skill badges, arcade games and many more things. So here we are going to talk about only about the skill badges. If you have any other query, you can let me know in the comment section. Now if you are new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now here basically here you can see that basically here we have to complete skill badges. Here you can see the skill badges are mentioned over here. And suppose if you want to see, basically many of you want to see how many skill badges we have to do. So basically if you have participated and completed all the September games, you have time, you can complete, sorry, if you have completed all the other games and you are completing all the September games, you can easily reach ultimate milestone. But some of the participants are saying they have completed only 10 games. So will the next month October game will be counted? So currently there is no any information regarding it. But we have asked the team, chances are there they may not consider and these games will be extended. But we are trying our best to get it confirmed. Now if you have completed all the 12 games and 8 trivia games, time here is for completing 52 skill badges. Now many of you are facing issues like some labs are having bugs or you are unable to do it. So here I am just making a master sheet over here. Let me show you the master sheet. So this is our master sheet here. I have shared all the pre-assessment skill badges and skill badges. Basically, in pre-assessment skill badges, when you come over here, here, one more new skill badge has been added. I have shared it and updated the solution too. Okay, this is the solution and badge. So basically, by completing all these 23 labs in the 23 skill badges, you get the, basically 22, uh, sorry, 23 skill badge you get just by doing only one lab. So you can complete, first of all, complete all these labs and then move to the skill badge section. Here, more than 60 plus skill badges are here. But as per the point criteria, we have to do only 40, sorry, 40, not 52. So here, many of you are asking that is there any separate list from where we can see how many badges are working correctly? So here you can see all the solution badges and next to it is the solution playlist. Now here I have prepared a separate sheet. You can see here, I'll update. You can see, come to here. And here you can clearly see that all these labs here, you can see all these labs with their markings. Easy, intermediate or medium level. All these markings are mentioned over here. You can just simply see it and complete it accordingly. Here 52 skill badges are here. And if you are running out of skill badges and you have completed already, you can come to the master sheet and then again just come to this basically skill badge section and from here you can clearly see all the skill badges are mentioned over here. So hurry up, complete up, time is tickling and you have very less time over here. Now, if you have any queries, you can let me know in the comment section. And also, one more important thing, if you are a facilitator program participant, you must have completed this lab free course. If you haven't completed, hurry up, complete it. Here is the complete sheet with the link over here. Now, many of you are asking that we have completed only some of the lab free courses you have completed previously in previous years or maybe in January also. So, can you complete the lab free courses now also? So basically, if you have completed out of 24, if you have completed any one or two, you cannot complete any other lab free courses. For skill badges, there is no limitation, but for lab free courses, there is limitation. So you need to understand that you have to complete all the lab free courses mentioned over here. And apart from this, you cannot complete anyone. Okay, here is the complete solution playlist and I'll make a complete master video in which I'll cover all the lab free courses in a single video. So that's all about this video. Do like the video and subscribe the channel guys. If you have any queries, you can let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Have a great day.